All right, CMD Boxing Reports. This is Ronell Higg reporting here, and I'm back at it for the Boxing Fanatics. All right, so let's talk about next week's fight with, you know, Terrence Crawford and Amir Khan. All right, now, I kind of gave a uh, prediction before, but this is my, like, full prediction on how I see the fight playing out, okay? Now, I understand a lot of people, you know, when I see their videos or am whenever I read Instagram and, you know, I, I see a lot of comments and hear a lot of people say, yeah, Amir Khan will get knocked out probably in the sixth round. I mean, it's always the sixth round. And and that's because, you know, his his last knockout loss was against Canelo Alvarez. And that was in the sixth round. And that just stays locked in people's mind, all right? And it doesn't even have to be Amir Khan. It could be other fighters like Mikey Garcia, right? A lot of people saying, were well, saying that Earl Spence was gonna knock Mikey Garcia out in the sixth round. You know, damn, like that fight with Canelo Alvarez and Amir Khan, I mean, it just blew people away, okay? The sixth round. I mean, so many people is just locked on the sixth round, all right? <laughs> now, this is how I see it on how Terrence Crawford could win this fight, all right? Now, we all know Terrence Crawford is not a one-punch knockout artist, okay? Um, he's that type of fighter who will break you down. He kind of reminds me more of Pretty Boy Floyd, okay? I mean, he, he has very, very great offensive work, all right? Um, footwork is uh, it's okay, all right? It, it serves him well. But, you know, there's a lot of things I don't see Terrence Crawford doing. I mean, I do see him moving forward and moving backwards, but I don't see him like cutting off the ring on his opponents. Like when his opponent moves to the right, he does, Terrence Crawford never moved to his left, you know? Or if his, if his opponent moved to, you know, the left, Terrence Crawford, he won't move to the right. You know, like I said, I never seen him cut the ring off. And if you're looking to knock out Amir Khan, you know, this is what you have to do, okay? Because look, Amir Khan, he's pretty great. All right, with fighting on the back foot. I mean, when he was with uh, Freddie Roach, right? That was the way Freddie Roach had him doing. You know, he moving back and just throwing straights because, hey, we all know Amir Khan, his straight punches is fast. Okay, they're faster than his open wide hooks. Right? But later, I'm gonna get to that later on. So with Amir Khan, I mean, with uh, Terrence Crawford, like I could see him just moving in, um, countering. American, um, you know, just putting on some pressure on him and everything. I, I could see Terrence Crawford moving back. I mean, he will lose, I think. He will lose like the first right, round or two. You know, it, it might eh, take him a, a little bit, you know, to get warmed up and get, you know, figure Amir Khan out, all right, before, you know, he takes off. But a six round knockout, I don't see, okay? I mean, look, like I said, he's the type of dude who will break you down, okay? I mean, uh, he didn't knock out anyone from, uh, who was it, uh, Jeff Horn or Jose Benavidez. He didn't knock these guys out early, okay? He didn't even knock them out like in the middle rounds or so. You know, these guys, he had stopped them late, okay? He beat them down to a pulp, all right? Until the later rounds when they couldn't take them more, right? He ended up getting them out of there. And I could see the same thing with the Amir Khan and like, you know, Amir Khan, he will give, you know, Crawford some trouble with his movement. You know, I will see Amir Khan moving back. Plus Amir Khan, he's fast. He, he got them quick hands. All right. And if the fight don't end by knockout, I say Amir Khan will win by majority decision, but I'm going for a knockout. I, I, I could see him subduing Amir Khan. Okay. Making Amir Khan just fall apart. We all know how he is. All right. And he just become flat footed and lose focus and wham there you go okay <laughs> you got the shot you know you get the money shot and whatnot now for um amir khan for him to uh like be successful against crawford like i said he's gonna have to just throw straights okay nothing but straight uh, rights and lefts okay nothing but straight rights and lefts that's all he's gonna do because his straights and straight punches he throw or just fast, so they fast as hell, all right? Now, when I was talking about the way he throws those wide um, hooks and everything, so yeah, most of the time, those are easy to counter, all right? His wide hooks, 
are not fast like his uh you know straight you know right and lefts okay straight rights and lefts man they they he throw them with blind and speed okay so if he was to uh you know one one to uh win rounds and and give Crawford the toughest fight hell they might in, end up making the fight a draw if Amir Khan like wins by on points okay they might not give him the victory they might say it's a draw which i doubt he'll win okay but anyway you know his best bet is to fight on the back foot and to throw nothing but straights but if he does decide to go for broke and start throwing those wild punches where crawford could counter him very well he will end up getting knocked out which i think he will he'll probably get knocked out somewhere in the later of the fight probably nine round nine I'm saying I could see Crawford stopping the Mericon in round nine. All right. So anyways, that's my take on this. This is CMD Boxing Reports, and I'll catch you on the next one.